It was George Arwell who famously said that in a world of universal deceit, telling the truth is a revolutionary act. Listen, all I do is call out the known history of corruption in our government and other governments. And our founders talked about keeping government small, keeping it on a short leash, or it would put us on a leash. And there have been so many fake plots by the FBI, so many staged events, so many provocateurs, so many events that they've let happen where it's real crazies, that I've simply said we should investigate every new event because they try to take our liberties in every case, regardless of who's staging this stuff. And I tell you, it's getting to be like clockwork, that every time there's a tragedy, they try to connect the bad guys to Infowars.com and Alex Jones. And I shot a video about an hour ago that I just uploaded, uh, you know, to all the viewers out there saying, oh, look, AP, you know, tries to say the older brother was an InfoWars reader and then says something about anti-Semitism or something, which they just use on everybody. We don't even really talk about Israel or, or, or racial issues. I've been criticized for not being anti-Israel, but they try to write it so that you think that, you know, I'm obsessed with Jews or something. I'm quite frankly sick of hearing about it. I care about liberty versus tyranny. I look at people according to the character of their deeds and what they stand for, what they actually do. I am colorblind. I try to be. But, but that said, since that broke, it is just everywhere of the scandal. Alex Jones connected to the bombers. He, he evil. Oh, my God. What will happen with him? And all I can say is this, look, I'm not like Bush saying bring it on to people, but I'm doing the right thing. I know I'm right. I know I try to tell the truth. I'm not perfect. And I know we're having an effect because no one else will stand up and tell the truth. No one else will stand up for basic liberty and freedom. Everybody else just cowers in fear. It was Mark Twain that said, in the beginning, a patriot is a scarce man, hated and feared and scorned. But in time, when his cause succeeds, the timid join him, because then it costs nothing to be a patriot. And that's the point I'm getting at here, is that I am doing what I believe is right, and I'm not getting in line. When all the photos of contractors and people in a drill came out, and it was confirmed there was a drill they were covering up at the Boston bombing right when it happened, I watched the entire mainstream media refuse to cover that. And the FBI say, don't look at anything but what we show you. But it didn't work because InfoWars.com covered it, uh, DrudgeReport.com covered it, and that was it. But it didn't matter because Drudge is getting 50, 60, 70, 80, 100 million visitors a day. InfoWars is getting millions. And so they didn't control the signal. You don't have a monopoly anymore. And then Drudge put a tweet out today you know, saying, you know, Alex Jones is really trailblazing, basically. He said, you know, 2013 could be the year of Alex Jones. I kind of hope it isn't because this much attention is creepy. I mean, I understand this is dangerous going up against these crooks. But then people were criticizing Drudge, saying, oh, look, he's connected to the guy connected to the bombers. And then Drudge's neighbor is connected to him, who's connected to Alex, who's connected to the bombers. I mean, th this, this modern neo-McCarthyism from the authoritarian fake left is incredible. The truth is, I don't want to be a slave. I want my Bill of Rights, and I don't want to be told, come out of my house when a lone gunman's out in a whole city with my hands up. This is ridiculous. And I'm sick of seeing our Bill of Rights butchered. So I salute the real media. I salute those of you out there that stand for truth. I salute DrudgeReport.com and Matt Drudge. And Michael Savage has been questioning this stuff. We need to get out of our comas and stand together for common sense, folks, or this country's going into authoritarianism. Look at how everything I've talked about is unfortunately coming true. That's why my credibility is rising, despite the fact sometimes that it's quite a train wreck spectacle what I do on the radio. People are looking for the reality. And so those of us that stand for reality have to stand together or hang separate. Uh, but this just shows we're effective. These type of, uh, you know, demonization campaigns that are so ham-fisted shows the system is desperate. Alex Jones signing off for InfoWars.com. The fight is going on right now for the heart and soul of this country and the world. So get the word out for truth and justice today.